All right, in this video, we are learning what the schedule performance index and the schedule variance are. Uh, there are ways to tell whether or not our project is ahead of schedule or behind schedule. So first of all, we have the schedule performance index. Uh, it's a ratio just of the performed work to the scheduled work. If we get an SPI that's greater than one, then that's a good thing. The project is ahead of schedule. But if we get an SPI that is less than one, that's not a good thing, and we're going to find that that project is behind schedule. Then, the other way to tell if a project is ahead of schedule or behind schedule is by using the schedule variance. It's the difference between budgeted work hours and scheduled work hours. And if schedule variance is positive, then the project is ahead of schedule, and if schedule variance is negative, then the project is behind schedule. So if we were to check from this previous example if it is ahead of schedule or behind schedule, we can use either of these measures. So let's do both. Let's find with, with the schedule performance index. So we'll have SPI is equal to BCWP, which is 800 over BCWS, which is 1200. And this will give us a value of 0.0. Uh, oops, so oh, six seven. Uh, this is an uh, this is less than one. So this is saying that the project is behind schedule. So we get a big round face. All right, schedule variance. This is the other way to check. We could have BCWP minus BCWS. So we'd have eight hundred minus twelve hundred. This is going to give us a value of negative four hundred. And we look down here, so if schedule variance is less than zero, the project, again, it's saying it's behind schedule. So that's, uh, that stays consistent. We get a frown face. That's kind of an ugly frown face like that. Uh, another way we can look at this, we can just simply look at this and say, well, this report date, if you recall from the previous video, we were the report date was given at the end of the third day, but only the first two days worth of work had been done. So of course this project is behind schedule. Uh, now, with larger... Uh, when we do this on a full Gantt chart, and like a larger project with multiple activities, it might not be as intuitive to be able to just read it right off the graph. So that's what we use the schedule performance index for and the schedule variance for. So I will see you in the next video and we will do a bigger example that's a little bit more complicated than this.